So in this video, we are going to talk about it's kind of the conclusion about the first part of the process, the process that uh, it's, uh, if I go back, it's in here, right? The topic definition, this kind of the conclusion from topic definition. So I want to conclude by giving you uh, advice of where this will be in your thesis. Like we, we have done a lot of work already, if you have been kind of thinking at the same time that you're listening to the video. So where are you going to show all that work in your thesis. So it will appear in the introduction is probably the first thing that someone is going to read. So you have to be extremely careful with this because we judge a lot and, and the first paragraph that we read, we judge the whole thing. So it's the first thing that will appear after the abstract, of course, but it will be in the first chapter in the introduction in what we call the background. The background aims to answer to these three questions. What is the topic? So that's why it's so important. That's why it's so related, right? Topic choice with, with what is the topic? Also, what are the boundaries? What is not your topic? Like maybe if you are thinking about digitalization, maybe you also need to set the boundaries of digitalization. Like maybe you don't want to include, for example, digitalization or, or, or like the psychological part of digitalization like of course digitalization is a lot about technology and all of these things but also how people experience digitalization and maybe for your problem that experience is not relevant and you are not going to talk about that that's also important you said in your background what are the boundaries what are the limitations like i talk about digitalization but until here i acknowledge that is important but i will just do it until here and also about the context uh, we already talked about that, right? Like here in the research problem, um, the topic can context. Also from your topic, we talk about public sector accounting. So we need to talk about that context. What about public sector accounting? Why is it important? And there are, there are different ways to write it, but if I will give you two strategies to write it, how to write it, follow these two ideas. Like when you write, the the first section of your first chapter you can start from a very broad topic like you define what is digitalization you also set some boundaries in digitalization then the digitalization in accounting what's happening maybe the big fours are very into that maybe the government there is regulation i don't know if that's more important and then digitalization in public sector accounting why, why is it important because it's about the transparency issues are there any frauds blah 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 that's one way to write it or if your topic is like this, like when you are mixing two things, then one strategy is that first you discuss what is the cognitive bias, what are different cognitive bias, which ones are important for your topic, blah, blah, blah. Then the internationalization strategies, and then you mix them. Like what examples are from, from real life that, that are relevant for, for all of this? So these are kind of two, two ideas to, to write the, the, the background, like the, the first section of your introduction. Um, of course, there are others, and you should always talk with your supervisor about how to write it. But these are two good ideas. And then we have uh, key aspects or something that you should be careful with. Or um, First, rem uh, the, the background is very, sorry, very empirical because it's topic selection. So it's very empirical. The background is mostly to convince the reader that it is what is your topic and why is it important in the context and the boundaries of the empirical world? I talk a lot about the, 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 the theory, the literature, because you have to keep that in mind. You have to talk about why your topic is relevant. What are their problems in real life? Like maybe digitalization increases the risk of fraud, the increase or even increase transparency, digitalization in public sector accounting, but you have to keep the theoretical things in here. like. All that that you are talking about, you are going to later link it to the literature and you have to be careful about it. You have to keep it in your head. But when you are talking about this at the very beginning, it's very empirical. It's about why why is that important for society? Why, why is this topic relevant in our lives? And finally, uh, and, and we will talk about this a lot, but this is something that we all struggle, I uh, struggle about it. I think even Nobel Prize winners struggle about it. Everyone struggles about it. Like when you write, because now you are exploring different concepts and all of this. So be very careful. Try to use 
uh, the same words for the same concepts because that can be very confusing if you write it in a in another way. Like if you refer to salary, call it salary. Don't call it wages. Don't call it payments. Call it salary all the time because in in when you do academic writing, when you write a an article, you have to be very clear. And if you think that salary and wage is potato potato, then it's not going to work. You are going to fail because it will be extremely difficult to read so start from the very beginning use this first section as kind of a, a, a way to practice that like if you're going to talk about salaries use the word salary forever never use anything that is not salary i even make that mistake probably here because i used to refer to papers and articles as if it's the same thing and probably in in, in real life conversations it can be the same thing but if i will be if I will be writing an, an, an article or paper I have to choose one of both because otherwise the reader will be very confused so this is something about academic writing we're going to talk about that in another lecture academic writing but but think about it from now like think especially for your your the definition of your topic if you choose digitalization then is digitalization is not technology is not cloud computing is not apps is digitalization okay so that's uh, uh, my suggestion so remember all of this hard work all of this that you have learned will be in that chapter and in that section and it's an extremely important section we're going to talk about that also later but it's very important that you know where it is where where it will appear so with that we finish with the first process the topic definition now we move to the research problem uh, in the next video